what up, too much going on to stay quiet anymore. Um, so we are going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. So I wanted to start off with a commentary on uh, religion and deities and um, the transition from polytheism and monotheism and what that has to do with our understanding of how deities work. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a lot of really interesting deity commentary on all of my For You pages. Uh, so I think it's something that's going to be important to kind of like address right now. So let's first thing to understand. Let's get this perfectly food safety. First thing to understand is that what has happened is a lot of indigenous cultures and back in the pre-monotheism days, cultures associated deities with all kinds of different things. And so you've got a ton of deities associated with the moon and water and all sorts of like delicious stuff like that. Right? Part of the way that colonization works is that you take a people and then you remove them from the story. You remove them from the knowledge of who they are. And a big part of who people are, are their spirituality. It's who they worship, how they understand the world and how they interact with the world. So what we see in time is the movement from polytheism and understanding that there are a bunch of different deities and spirits and levels to things down to a condensed version of that, to monotheism. In doing this, the stories associated with all of these different people and characters and stuff got changed. And one of the reasons why it was important to change the narrative around female deities is because these stories that were passed down is what it was the precursor to our social media and our TV and our Hollywood stuff. So we see a lot of ourselves represented there. It's kind of like part of the whole human seeing things and doing things and learning from that perspective. And so effectively shifting that narrative uh, took away those really strong and powerful people that women had to look up to or people had to look up to and interact with, which then allowed the space for other models to be put in and all sorts of uh, patriarchy to be established. Basically, love that. Why is this important now? Monotheism, talking about the one and only God, has been a massive tool of ripping and separating people away from their cultures and these stories that are inherent to who they slash we, these stories that are inherent to who we are as people. It took a very wide worldview and put it in a tiny little box that doesn't entirely align with how we experience the world. You can see these misalignments when it comes to how stressed out people are, the rise of, of health issues, the rise of mental health issues, the way that the people who are in power now were able to blame hurts and all sorts of issues on specific groups of people and rile up a whole bunch of hate and anger. Like, hurt people hurt people. And we got to remember that hurt people hurt people. These are deep and true and authentic issues with a system that is not made for us. Case in point, it is a system that is not made for us. It has to do with our worldview. Now, you may be asking, Anna, how does this tie in to deities and stuff? And why are you talking about this right now? Well, I'm talking about it right now because we have been in a space of questioning a whole bunch of stuff that we were born into. If you're around my age, if you're around the age of my parents or my grandparents, or my great grandparents, we were all born into these systems, right? And we're living in the find out. We are living in the times of find out. And in the times of find out, you look at everything and you go like, what's functioning and what's not functioning? And that's scary to do. And in order to do stuff like this, we need to see good examples of what's going on. So how does this play in to the story as we're reaching back and trying to find old examples of really strong and powerful people that can give us a light of what to do? This plays into looking at the stories and seeing where historians and scholars and all sorts of people have taken this big expanse of a story and for the sake of brevity and unity and pushing of the single God narrative, they've taken these things. So we need to do this 
basically with a whole lot of history <laughs> is let's dig into and ask the questions and then the other thing that we've been separated from is our ability to use our intuition so using that intuition as you're reading stories and being like all right what is the vibe of <laughs> this character like what can i put together and what feels right and then if you want to get really crazy with it not crazy this is just logical it's like entities are entities they're things you can ask them now there's all sorts of stuff and protective stuff that it's important to do around that and like that's not my space my space is in the let's figure out how narrative and story and business and economy and society and community and colonization and decolonization how does all of that come together and then how do we in the middle of all of these systems breaking down rising rent prices, rising gas prices, a government that doesn't represent us, a whole bunch of people that are hurt and angry, <laughs> like a whole bunch of resources that we have a lot of trouble getting access to, and a whole bunch of resources that we can't have access to. How does all of this affect everything and how do we move, move forward? So I just wanted to, like, as I hope that you are starting the journey of questioning the religions that we were raised with, because it's everywhere, absolutely everywhere, um, take a look at these stories with different lenses and just see what happens side note i think that there is some extent of like figuring out what the deities want now that we're in the 21st century there's a whole bunch of stuff that exists now that didn't exist then a whole bunch of words for things that didn't exist then and so i think that it is an upgrade of the story like an outright change or like as we search into these things like interacting and figuring out, all right, what is what are the updated pantheons? What are what are the new vibes that were going on?